Hey, what's going on? You guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be cooling things down a little bit. What I mean by that, we're gonna be installing this Weapon X kit. Shout out to Brent. Let me pull this out of the box to show you guys what it is. All right, this is what comes in the kit. Those two that go on the side of the front bumper. And then this bigger one that replaces the one right in the middle. And they also include this bleeder hose, which goes on that middle one. And they also have these badass shirts, which we're about to throw on. So let me start off by removing this cover and then I'll show you guys what we gotta do. All right, so first thing we gotta do is remove this front bumper. And in order to do that, we have to get behind this wheel liner because there's four nuts or bolts that are holding the bumper to the fender. So what we're gonna do is remove this wheel, jack up the car, get behind this wheel liner and get to these nuts or bolts. And then uh, we're gonna start working our way around the front bumper. But well, we're gonna get this out of the way first. Let's start off by removing these torque bolts. There's four. But well, we had another bolt. It was a seven millimeter. Right here, right on the corner. And so far I can see that we're gonna be unbolting two seven millimeters up there. And possibly three right here. We we'll also have to disconnect these lights. Move this harness. All right, so I was able to get those two bolts up there, seven millimeters. And then I unclipped this harness and the light. So I'm gonna get these three next. And then we should be able to put the tire back on and start working on the other right, side. So now we're gonna get to the bolt and nuts underneath this front lip. There's a bunch of seven millimeters and some of the torques right here in this corner. So I'm gonna get all across the front and then I'll put you guys back on. All right, so we got a total of two of these plastic trim, one from each side and then we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 fasteners that we're holding everything down here. Now I'm gonna start working on that side and removing the wheel and jacking up the car and getting behind the wheel liner. Okay, so we removed all the hardware from this side of the wheel liner now we're going to get underneath the hood and remove all these and then the bumper should come off i just noticed that there's two more bolts holding this down that one right there and that one down there and i have two more on this side as well i'm gonna try to reach in through that little gap right there try to take those two out and then i'm gonna try to do the same on this side Okay, now I'm going to start pulling off the bumper. There's a plug right here. And I, I'm guessing that plug is for these lights and stuff. So you would have to unplug that. And I'm guessing there's no need to unplug these light side markers. So let me get to that plug real quick. I'll put you guys back on. When I was removing the bumper from this driver's side, it was kind of stuck, so I pulled on it a little bit too hard and I broke this little clip right here. So I'm gonna start on the driver's side, removing all these clips. There's a couple of them up here. There's some here. So I could remove this plastic piece and get to the heat exchanger. There's another clip back here, which I can't get to. So I'm gonna have to remove this. Start off by these 10 millimeters up here. Then I'm gonna do all four bolts right here. And there's some clips back here, holding these plastic trims to this. And I believe this harness has to come off as well. On, the, on this driver's side, what we're gonna do is remove these bolts that hold this pump. But first, I'm thinking we're gonna remove this headlight. So we could get to some bolts that are holding the bracket for the seat exchanger. And then once we remove the headlight, we should have more access to remove everything else. 
So it's a couple of, I believe they're seven millimeter bolts. Here and here. There might be some down here. All right, so there was just the, what is it? One, two, three, four bolts. And the headlight pops out and there's two plugs before that. This one and this one. These two plugs for the headlight. And then um, there's three of these clips that hold that rubber piece. Now what I'm gonna do is move this bracket that's holding the fender to the chassis. Might not be necessary, but I think it'll just free up more space. Seems like it's being held on by a couple of 10 millimeter uh, bolts. So, so I would have to unclip this and this and pull the horn. We're gonna get these 10 millimeter bolts out to get this pump out of the way. All right, so for that plastic piece to come off, you have to remove this pump, get all the clips out, and there's one clip back here. But once you remove this pump, you're able to reach back there and remove that clip. And then we have to remove this duct, which has three clips on this side and one back here. And then you just pull it and it comes off of that. And with that out of the way, you're able to reach this bolt back here, which holds this bracket. And then we will be removing these bolts up here as well. And with all those bolts removed, this bracket should come off. We're gonna run down to the store and grab some hose clamps, clamp this hose off and this one so it won't leak any coolant. Then we should be able to remove these lines and pull out the whole assembly. We just got back from the store and we picked up two gallons of Dex Cool. We picked these up at the dealer. And then we'll pick this up at Herbert Freight, the line clamps. And then we got some funnels to fill up the, the heat exchangers. And we got some Teflon tape for the bleeder. I was having trouble disconnecting this second line back here. So what I did is I ended up unbolting this bracket. just in, And that gave me enough room to just pry it up and get to the clip in here with the with this pick. So this is a side-by-side -side of these heat exchangers. I'm gonna fill this up with some uh, coolant right now, and then I'm gonna put it back on the bracket and connect everything, all the connect both lines and bolt this down. In order to use these bolts that come with the Weapon X, you're gonna have to pull these out. These are the ones that would bolt down to the stock heat exchangers. You pull them all the way out, and then you have to remove this grommet, and you have to remove this nut to get this washer out and then you reassemble it and once it's reassembled it would fit. once it's reassembled it sits perfectly fine and then you could just use your supplied hardware to mount the to mount the heat exchanger We're gonna use a funnel and fill it up with some if you don't go dex cool. So now we're gonna get to putting these mounting bolts for the bracket, all three of them back on, and putting this hose back on as well. And then we're going to put the plastic and bolt down this uh pump. On this side we're gonna start removing the clips that hold this plastic piece to the uh, actual bracket and get it out of the way and see if there's anything else we have to remove we'll let you guys know all right so we're gonna end up removing the satellite just to see if we could get to this last to this last bolt dump back there and then this one is pretty easy so that one shouldn't be a problem just that the problem is that last bolt back there 
Alright, so for this side, I found it easier to just push this wheel liner out of the way. Get the 13 millimeter in here. And then unclip this zip tie, and then you'll be able to get to this 13 millimeter up here. We were having some trouble with this line back here. So what we had to do is um, bolt these 10 millimeters and pretty much loosen up this bracket, press the line in, and then we were able to tighten everything up. And we did remove this just to get a little more access to the bolts back here. Now we gotta put this duct back in place and we're gonna start removing these plastic trims on the side to get more access to this one in the middle. We were trying to remove these plastic pieces to get uh, access to these 10 millimeter bolts that are holding this heat exchanger in place. So what we did is we removed these six clips on each, there's three on each side and there's no way to actually remove in this even if we remove these plastics. So what we're gonna do is just drill some holes right here and here, get access to these 10 millimeter um, bolts on both sides and then remove this heat exchanger. So these are the holes we just drilled and we could get the 10 millimeter in there and get those bolts out. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna remove those and hopefully we'll get this heat exchanger out without a problem. I think this one should go back down here. It wasn't that bad. All I had to do was remove this clip first and remove this hose. And then uh, pull the heat exchanger out a little bit so I could get to this clip and then remove this hose. This is a little quick comparison side by side of the Weapon X and the factory heat exchanger. The factory heat exchanger is about 5 eighths and the Weapon X is about 2 inches and 1 fourth. So we're going to fill this one up. And, well, actually, before we fill it up, we're going to put some Teflon tape on the uh, bleeder hose that goes up here. And then we're going to fill it up with some coolant and toss it back in the car. Okay, since we're gonna fill it in from that side, we're gonna try to put a 10 millimeter with a glove in here just to hold the coolant inside while we fill it up and then we install it. So now the Weapon X heat exchanger is in. The only problem we had was lining up the bolts with the hole uh, where they thread to, but we got it in. All the lines are connected. We actually pre-filled this up and what helped, what helped us a lot to keep the cooling in was that glove with the 10 millimeter. It actually worked for us. 
and we only needed one gallon of Dexco to fill all three heat exchangers. All right, so we're gonna throw that bar back on. It's just these two bolts up here, and then there's four on each side, which are these. Just don't forget to put all these clips back in. So all these right here. And there's one up here. We got the bar back on. This is the piece that I broke while removing the bumper from the driver's side. So I had to pick this one up. It was $26, $28. Something like that. And uh, make sure if you break it, you have to get it from a Zeal 1. I don't know if the 1 LE and the regular Zeal 1 are the same thing, but make sure because they were giving me one for a regular Camaro and it was a little bit shorter from bowl hole to bowl hole. What I broke was this little clip right here while pulling the bumper out. See, this one's missing the little clip. So this one just goes on here put it on there like that so we're just gonna make sure that all the clips are back where they should be and then we're gonna throw the bumper back on right now don't forget to tighten these 10 millimeter bolts that you have to get from underneath there's one on each side. You do have to remove them to remove this. So just remember to tighten them. All right, we're gonna start putting all these screws and clips back on the bumper. And that'll be it for this installation. We can't turn on the car because the supercharger is still not back. So make sure to subscribe to catch the next couple of videos on this Camaro. And follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC films. So we'll catch you in the next one.